A company's demand equation is given by the following equation, x equals the square root of 2000 minus p squared, where p is the price in dollars. We want to find dp dx when p is equal to 40 and interpret our solution. Let's go ahead and work it out. We'll start by writing down the demand equation. So x is equal to the square root of 2000 minus p squared. Now we have to find dp dx. That means that we have to take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. The problem is we have a square root. Well, if we square both sides, the square root goes away. So if we square the left-hand side, we just get x squared. And if we square the right-hand side, the square root goes away. And we end up with this. Now it might be easier to take the derivative. So now we'll differentiate. Differentiate. Here on the left-hand side, we just get 2x. Right? We're taking the derivative with respect to x. That's just 2x. The derivative of 2,000 is 0. And here when you take the derivative, you bring the 2 down. So you get minus 2p times the derivative of p with respect to x. So dp dx, chain rule. Divide both sides by negative 2p. And that leaves us with dp dx is equal to, let's see, the 2's cancel, so we just get negative x over p. So to recap, all we've done is we squared both sides of this equation. Let me use a faint line to indicate that. That got rid of the square root. Then we took the derivative with respect to x, and we solved for dp dx. Now we want dp dx when p is 40, but you'll notice we're kind of stuck because we have p, but we don't have x. So now we'll go back and we'll find x. So let's use our original equation. So x is the square root of 2000 minus p squared. And to find x, well, we know that p is going to be 40. So we just plug in 40 for p. So x is equal to the square root of 2000 minus 40 squared. So this is the square root of 2000 40 squared is 1,600. So x is equal to the square root of 400, which is 20. So to find x, we wrote down the original demand equation, not this one, the original one, and we plugged in p equals 40 to solve for x. So to finish, we have dp dx, let me write it again, is equal to negative x over p. And we know that when p is 40, x is 20. So dp dx, when p is equal to 40, is equal to, well, when p is 40, x is 20. So this is negative 20 over 40. So this is negative 1 half. So we have found dp dx when p is equal to 40. What does this mean? Let me use a different color. This means that price decreases by about 50 cents, right? Negative 0.5 is negative 1 half. By about 50 cents when quantity increases by one. Right? Remember, it's a quantity, so um, when we interpret, we have to be really careful. We can't have fractional quantities. Uh, so that's the interpretation. So I hope this video um, has helped someone out there.